Hello and welcome back to Sock Pop. We're um we're playing Gardener. This just came out like today. Let's give it a go. Oh, we got a gnomey friend. I like Oh, he actually is a gnome. I was I was thinking I was thinking that looks like a gnome. Tiny and mischievous. We got some little driblets, little droplets. Uh we can we can buy some stuff. I hope I didn't just buy something I don't want to I don't need. Um, <clears throat> water pump, soil, good for planting, shop. Uh, I think I was not supposed to buy that because now I have no money. That's okay. All right, let's restart. <laughs> Speed run to ruining the game. Um, okay, I'm clicking, I'm clicking all the buttons. We're gonna, we're gonna buy carrot seed. Let's, well, let's buy, let's buy, let's buy a potato seed. So I, I drag it there and I'm gonna put it in the soil. I'm hoping that potato is going to, um, give us the most return. I don't know what, uh, what the, the little droplet is. I have a water pump. I can't seem to move. A sign is left click. Oh, okay. Oh, we, we, we have to, we have to. First, grab our dude. Okay, so we got the, the water droplet. Go ahead and put that on the soil. I assume that is a water droplet. There we go. Okay, so he's grabbing the water and he's throwing it on the potato. This is this is pretty good so far. I'm, I'm into this. Ripe potato, pull to harvest. Oh, we got some tactile feedback here. Potato, worker fighter, uh-oh. Oh, I see, okay. But how do we make money though? Here, you go ahead and get working on these weeds. Oh, we get money from weeds. We get we get money from weeds, maybe? Uh, okay, there's a worm coming. You go ahead, Mr. Potato. Mr. Potato Head, you, you go ahead and fight that worm. All oh, the animations in this are excellent. <laughs> all right, all right. So that was, that was pretty good. Can I do a, oh, I can do like a little box. That's nice. Um, I didn't tell you to stop. I didn't tell you to stop. Honestly, the, the background music tells... It's kind of like the, uh... The pipe music that Lisa plays. I didn't tell you to stop. Um, I wouldn't mind having another... Soil. Oh, there's another worm coming. We need more money. How does one get more money? You would think that the fighting stuff would, would earn you money. What is this? Repair. Oh, we have a snail coming, maybe. Okay, the potato is doing a good job of fighting stuff. Oh, there's another coin. The snail can actually defend itself somehow. Grows a basic worker. Grows a basic fighter. Oh, the potato is dead. Oh, no. It looks like it's up to the gnome. A oh, gnome. Oh. Yo, our soil is gone as well. Oh my god. Command. Uh, oh, I see. We have different commands. Okay, go ahead and heal yourself up, Mr. Gnome. We are in dire straits right now. So I guess I need uh, some soil in there. And then we're going to need uh, onion seed. As soon as uh, the gnome is healed up, I'm going to have him work on that. Soil? What? What is he doing exactly? What is this? I need. I need uh, some methods for making money in this game. Cause right now I I am very confused about money. Okay. Okay. N Gnome, you're gonna have to fight this worm because he's he's almost upon us. All right. Oh God, there's more worms. I don't really have any methods. Um, you go ahead and water that that plant, gnome. Oh, ripe onion. Okay, cool. But this is a worker. This is not a fighter. So what what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Okay, onion. You're gonna go ahead and uh, get those weeds. It might be that weeds are are basically our only method of making money, and so we want more onions to basically grab these uh, weeds. If we can get some more onions, then we can grab more weeds, and then we can make more money. Uh, our gnome is gonna die, though. 
All right, game over. All right. Well, I did. I, I learned a lot. I learned quite a lot. We're gonna we're gonna start with a worker. Grows a basic fighter. We don't need that. Not yet. There's no water. Is this is this are we are we d good? Is this uh, onion ready? They are now. They are ready. You know what they say. No one ever makes the first jump. Okay, we need another onion. Go ahead and water this plant. Water this onion boy. Um, I guess we can't weed anything if there, there is nothing to weed. Makes sense, right? So unfortunately, I don't have any fighters right now. So we're gonna need a carrot seed. That is just true. We need a fighter. We're gonna assign all of these to D-Weed for now. And uh, we, we're not gonna make any weeds for a while, but uh, you know, at least it's gonna happen automatically now. This game is very much about automation. So we have a, we have a carrot. We'll just assign them to, to fight. And I guess we can have them heal as well. So if something, if a snail comes up again, then we, we ought to heal our uh, warriors. Here comes some more weeds. I wonder if I should not actually de-weed it right away. We'll just uh, get get you guys on water duty for now. Okay, let's uh fast forward a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna let the weeds grow a little bit. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. oh. Have the I'll have the gnome assist and then heal up. There we go. That way the carrot doesn't even have to heal. Okay, we'll get uh, we'll get a onion lad who has now gone invisible. He is invisible, in fact, to to get on that weed duty. Might be you don't need more than one worker for a while. Okay, there's there's a money. Pumps a drop every 15 seconds. So I don't. I don't think that's going to be helpful for quite a long time. Honestly, what I could use is more land. It's going to be quite a bit of uh, downtime in this game, isn't there? Okay, carrot, you need to heal up. Let's get you guys on uh, weed duty. Just one of you, honestly. Three worms on their way. I don't think these things fight back, so uh, I'll have the gnome fight them. So that the carrot can rest up a little bit. There you go. Oh, three, three, uh, three snails on the way, huh? I need I need the gnome to to back up a bit. Oh, this is this is doomed. There's no way. Okay. All right. Well, I I absolutely need more methods of making money. Um, there seems to be none right now. Maybe I'll take a chance and in fact uh, buy some more land right away, and then just have the gnome pick some weeds. Okay, that's actually a huge help. I'm just gonna make one onion for now. And, uh, you know, I'm not even gonna grow them. Cause I don't, like, it doesn't matter. Like the gnome's just gonna get the, get, pick up the weeds. The onion will take care of weed duty, but I honestly feel like it's a better idea to just kinda like, Work maybe focus on fighters. Also, I'm I'm gonna not completely de-weed a tile because it seems to mean that uh, there's a lot less weeds coming in. So we'll we'll let it continue to grow in. I guess uh, they're not gonna they're not th that onion isn't gonna grow at all if it doesn't get a little bit of water. Here comes our first worm. I'm gonna let this onion grow naturally now. Have the uh, the gnome fight the the worm. 
Onion, you are gonna go ahead and de-weed. And I'm gonna I'm gonna micromanage you a little bit. Just making sure that we don't completely de-weed a tile. That seems to be working, actually. It seems that uh, we, we can keep our our weeds coming in. I'm a little bit worried about our, our uh, tile here. Guards the garden. Oh, I, de I, I detiled. I said I wasn't gonna do it, and I ended up doing it anyway. Uh, gnome, can you can you fight fight that worm? Here comes our first snail. Uh, which actually I think means that we're doomed. I don't think that there's anything I can do now because I don't have a, another fighter. I, I really don't know if our gnome can take on a snail on their own. It looks like no. Uh, I can start working on a carrot, but I don't think that they'll be ready in time. Maybe our gnome can... We could kite the snail around. Gnome. Gnome, fight the snail. Okay, we managed to survive and I have a carrot now. This is very good. Okay, if I can get another coin, I can get another carrot, and then maybe we can actually focus a little bit on defenses. I'm gonna go ahead and heal again, up again. I have to say, I'm not a huge fan of having to micromanage the onion just to make sure that we have weeds. I'm not sure if there's another way of making money. You'd think that uh, farming would be your method of making money. But the fact that it's weeds and the fact that, uh, um, like, making sure you don't remove the tile means that you have more money, means that uh, you spend a lot of time micromanaging because they're not smart enough not to completely de-weed a tile. All right, we have our second uh, carrot. There goes there goes the plot of land. So now I can't grow the, the carrot. Oh boy! All right, let's. Um. Oh, I can't buy it. I can't buy a plot of land because I bought the carrot seed. All right. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop micromanaging and just focus on trying to get that second coin because, uh, or sorry, one coins, because we're in dire straits now. All right, there it is. Solid. Onion boy, you're gonna go ahead and focus on building. Okay, carrot, you need to recover. Go ahead and water that lad, so we have two carrots. All right, again, we're gonna focus on weeds. I wouldn't mind getting some fences up. Oh, hey, we've got our plot of land back. So the weeds don't remove it, it just, uh, it just removes it for a while until you get removed the, the weeds. That's actually really good to know. Okay, here's here's the moment of truth. Are we going to be able to fend off these snails? All right. Why aren't you fighting? Get out of there! Oh my god. Yo, I, I'm getting frustrated. I am getting frustrated with this cute little gardening game, I gotta say. My god. Um, alright. So, let's make ourselves an onion. I'm gonna not, uh, buy that land for now. Just for now. We're gonna, we're gonna cool it a little bit. All right, let's let's water our, our onion lad. 
And we're gonna build a carrot lad after that. All right, onion lad is good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna micromanage him a little bit, just a little bit, not too much, just so that we have continue to get uh, weeds. And gnome lad, I'm gonna have you growing our first carrot boy. Okay, carrot carrot boy is good. I wish I could move them. Oh, I can move them. I can just straight up move them. Okay, drop drop the water. We're not doing that. Okay, carrot boy, you can you you're you're exactly where you need to be. Okay, we need that. We need more money. Actually, I guess if I have them on weeds, can I just like move them around? No. Okay, so it's not smart enough to let me just move them around so that they're where they need to be. I wish that was the case. Yeah, you, you basically can't have two people weeding at the same time because then you in, end up detiling a little bit. So we have enough for a second onion boy. We're gonna go ahead, or sorry, a carrot boy. We are gonna do that. And I think after this, I'm gonna start building some fences. Honestly, I don't know. I feel like maybe I should start saving for corn seed because that's a ranged fighter. What happened? Something happened. I don't know what. More money. Yeah, so like you can see, like I I end up detailing even when there's only one onion worker, uh, which is a little bit frustrating because um, I I really just like it's it seems to be the only method of making money is uh, to to de weed. I suppose if I had more land, then this wouldn't be a problem because then the weeds could maybe propagate as fast as we are a de weeding. All right, I am gonna not worry so much about um, micromanaging weeding. I'm just going to uh, focus on having enough fighters. We have. We do have uh, enough money. We could we could start working on an actual fence. I don't know if this is worth it. If I'm being honest, yo, I gotta I gotta say, uh, moving moving units around is like really not okay. <laughs> it's not not working for me at all, basically. <laughs> I, like I'm trying desperately just to move the the carrots and and they uh, they are insisting on me also moving the onion lad. Okay, we've got our first fence. We do have more carrot lads this time, so you know, did I lose a carrot lad? Yeah, we lost two carrot lads. Sorry, we lost all three carrot lads. <sighs> That's all my money gone. So I like, and now I have to spend basically all of my time recovering if I can even recover. And that's that's all the weeds gone. I wonder if you can do something with these stones. The fact that okay, like so, I have maybe two or two or three issues 
uh, with this game so far. I think that uh, the weeding to make money is just not fun, <laughs> like straight up. I need it, I, I feel like since it is a game about gardening, you should be able to garden or farm something that makes you money. And I mean, I, I guess if that's uh, what the de-weeding is, then it just, it, maybe there needs to be some form of automating it that doesn't mean micromanaging because um, the weeds don't propagate quickly enough for us to be able to make a consistent flow of income from it. And so your your resources end up being so valuable that um, you can't actually like, like losing them is just devastating. It's too, it's like, there's not enough, there's not enough ways to make money basically. There's, and, and the weed, de weeding just doesn't make it sense to me. Um, and I end up in a situation like this. I think it's actually, ridiculous that you don't make any money from fighting like i would have thought that you would make some money from from killing worms or something right mm -hmm. um and then there's a reward for doing that um wow a giant mole i like the animation on that giant mole but they are 100 percent just gonna destroy everything all right i'm gonna, I'm gonna try one more time um but i i really don't know You spend maybe too much time um, not farming in this game. <laughs> I like the idea of growing fighters. I think that's really cool. Um, but the fact that you have to spend money to get the seeds and that there's not enough money to, to go around means that you don't really spend a lot of time actually growing anything. Um, and like I said, the, the weeding mechanic just doesn't make sense to me. It, it straight up just doesn't work. If you could maybe water the weeds, that'd be kind of cool. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe, like, I need, like, another unit that does something, makes you some kind of money. Like, I end up in a situation like this where I have to let these weed tiles grow. Otherwise, I'm going to detile them and then I'm going to make no money. Even when I'm weeding, I don't make very much money. So, I don't know. What are these markers? Does this mean that, you know, we're gonna get attacked? I guess we have enough money to buy a carrot. I should, should do that. Actually, I should have our onion friend do that instead. Could I like move people around to get them to their destination faster? Oh my god. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, where's the carrot? The carrot's just gone? Because the weeds grew over? I have to let the weeds grow, otherwise I have no source of income. And if the <laughs> weeds grow over the plot of land, then you just lose the thing you were growing? Uh, wow. I think I think what would it maybe improve this a little bit is just make the weeds propagate a little bit faster. Like maybe you could just assign an onion to a tile and then it would propagate about as quickly as um as you as you de-weed them because then at least there's a consistent flow of cash. And I, even then there's not a consistent flow of cash. Like it's not consistent anyways, right? Because it's completely random. I, I I tried as hard as I could to get the gnome out of there, but... Okay, I honestly am getting to a point where I don't think growing onions is worth it at all. Especially since you have to micromanage them. We got, we got a coin very early, so that's kind of nice. I'm thinking I'm not gonna grow an onion, or sorry, a carrot for a while. It's probably, that's probably gonna like destroy everything, but uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy some land. Why can't I buy some land actually? I have enough money. 
why why can't I buy land? If I could um like manage this situation where the weeds are like in the four corners so they can't possibly ruin the plot of of like farm farmland then that's actually pretty good because then the tiles can propagate it takes about long enough that they can propagate well no we don't we don't want to to undo this situation this is a good situation we're in actually I think if you could like set up a situation like this where you could then tell your onion like, hey, um, pull one weed and then move on to the next tile and then move on, like set up a loop, then it might work a little bit better and it would be kind of fun to set up like automated farming in that sense. Uh, I really don't understand why I can't buy more land. I have enough money. I do wonder, are ranged units gonna be like, movable? I almost wanna get a ranged unit going like right away, just to see what that's like. Oh, there's our first snail. I am not gonna make it. Unless I, make, I get another coin like now. Okay, so we should be able to build a corn. Uh, I'm probably gonna die, but I'm gonna try my very best to at least see what a corn seed looks like. Come on. Nice. So we have a corn. Pull to harvest. Yeah, we have it. We, we can actually move them around. What do you mean sell? Yo, you can sell... Them? Can I sell this guy? Oh, I can sell crops. Oh my god. Okay, that changes everything. That changes actually everything. How much do they sell for, though, is the thing. Okay, buddy, I need you to do what I'm telling you. <laughs> Swear to god. They get in each other's way as well. Oh my god. Okay. The, the corn lad is about as feeble as I had expected, to be honest. If I could get one carrot boy, it would make a huge difference. I'm trying, trying desperately to micromanage. I'm gonna sell this guy. So he only sells for one. Uh, we have enough for a carrot. Actually, I had enough for a potato seed. And they double as a worker. Um, the fact that crops sell for exactly as much as they buy for, uh, I think means that it changes nothing, in fact. Uh, they, they are not actually very viable. So, does Corn Lad move? No, he doesn't move. So he's just kind of worthless. He needs a fighter to back him up. I guess he can kite some a snail around, so he isn't he isn't awful. And to be fair, the carrot lad will die. <laughs> I, I I feel like I'm ripping on this game like fairly hard. I understand that. I understand I'm being like really nasty, but I'm 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 having problems. I'm having so many problems right now. Like, like the fact, you know what? Hold on a second. Options, assign life, right click. Okay, cool. That might actually fix something because now I, I don't end up in this situation where I keep assigning something when I, I mean to just like move them around. Okay, so here's the moment of death. I don't think I can survive this if I'm being honest. Okay, okay. No. Commanding your units is really difficult in this game. <laughs> okay, he does actually move. So that's not bad. He will actually move out of the way. I appreciate that. That that actually helps a lot. 
Okay, we're gonna need another carrot lad, unfortunately. I'm still not sure why I can't buy land. It seems like when I didn't buy it, it uh, meant it was permanently a not not an option for me anymore. Um, which is a blow. Also, we're gonna have to fight a mole at the end of this and I'm not going to survive. There's no way. Um, can you guys fight? They're gonna destroy that farm. Yo, can you fight please? So th there's all of the, uh, you can't tell someone to like be a fighter and also um, move. Like it doesn't work that way. There's the mole. Okay, well, I died. Okay, survive three moons. Um, I am gonna try one more time. I, you know, here, here's, here's my final thoughts, I think, regarding the money situation. I think that, at the very least, crops should sell for one coin more than you grow them for. Stop it! Oh my god, it is so difficult to command your units in this game. I try so hard to tell them to stop, and it just never happens. I am, like, legitimately getting mad with that. <laughs> um... If they, if your, if your crops sold for like one coin more than you grew them for, then farming would have a, a purpose other than just like growing the unit you need. And you should be able to sell your crops. Like that, that seems to me just, you know, that makes sense. And I haven't, what I haven't tried is to sell a carrot. If I could sell a carrot for three, then it might be worth it. I understand maybe, um, the argument is, well, if you could do that, then why wouldn't you just grow a carrot, sell it, and then build a potato seed? I mean, you're not wrong, but that doesn't mean it's it would not be more fun than weeding, which is currently, like, the most tedious thing ever. The fact that weed weeding is, like, completely luck-based, it might be more also, like, I don't know, maybe, like, de-tiling, uh, like, de-weeding a tile guarantees you a coin might be a bit better because right now if it just feels like entirely luck based whether or not you are able to succeed as a as a farmer and i'm also just not sure what's up with uh growing wow he just like oh okay he, he, he did succeed there All right, cool. i'm just gonna go ahead and let him do whatever uh I didn't pull out the carrot and now the okay yeah um that's that's this one done all right i'm gonna try again do you have to maybe select the house in order to grow to to buy land is that why i have not been able to oh okay that makes a little bit more sense I'm fully willing to believe and admit that a lot of my frustrations in this game are due to the fact that I don't understand it fully. And I'm generally cool with that. Um, I don't know what it is, but maybe controlling units in this game as well as like how the money situation works in it is like getting me a little bit heated. <laughs> I might also just be wrong about weeding. Maybe if you like let the weeds grow in, enough that they do actually propagate quickly enough actually you know what if i could grow if i could put in fence fencing around the farm for instance this is dumb but i'm gonna try it i really hope that this isn't viable if i could put fencing around the farm um and it would stop the weeds from growing in that would be really good because that is definitely frustrating when that happens. Now I'm gonna... Actually, I'm gonna grow an onion. I, I actually feel like an onion would do me some good here. And I'm gonna... I need you to work on those weeds over there, please. So that it doesn't destroy this crop now. So if I can make enough money to grow, oh, well, there's our first uh, snail. 
So I think I'm right about the fence. I think it does actually hold back the weeds. Okay. Can we... I actually... If I could kite the snail around a little bit as the onion, that might be nice. That would actually be very helpful. Okay. Okay, that was good. Okay, can, can you... Yeah, do, do the thing. Can you control them? Yeah, you can actually control them while you pause. That does actually help. Because I was thinking, you know, that one time I had three carrots and they kept dying to the snails. It might have been helpful if I could just, like, control them. Can I also grab them? No. Grabbing them uh, is a step too far. We, we have enough for a carrot. We're gonna start growing some carrots. Oh, also, uh, if if you don't start de-weeding that right now, like, do do the thing. I, I put you on that. I hate this. Okay, I, this one is straight up a miss for me. This one is straight up a miss. I am getting actually frustrated the most frustrated with a sock pop game i think i've ever been with this one <laughs> there's just too many competing mechanics they like i'm trying to make money with the weeds but the weeds destroy the crops i'm trying to fight things but the things kill my units and then that's just money down the drain and then the mole is just like i probably need at least like an army of carrots but I gotta say, losing a crop because of the weeds is possibly the most frustrating thing. <laughs> I've, yo, yo, I, I don't want to get mad at a, at a game, but this one, this one's straight up making me mad. This one's making me mad. I, yeah, I, this is a cute little game about growing a farm and I'm getting heated. This is this should not be the case. Uh, you know, I think that and the reason that the losing that crop is so frustrating to me is because it is so like detrimental. Like making because making money is so difficult in this game. If you lose a crop, it's just devastating. It's absolutely devastating. There's nothing you can do at that point. You can't just recover those two coins. You now have to go and weed, like pick weeds. And we're about to get hit by those three snails, by the way. So this this is also game over. I guess I could sell uh, Onion Lad. Uh, never mind. Never mind. That's that's game over. Uh, I want to give this game another chance, but it's actually frustrating me. This one's actually frustrating me, really, really badly. Um, I don't even know anymore what to do. Like buy land, don't buy land. I tried to make uh, fences work. Here, tell you what, I'll try and make fences work even more this time. I'm gonna build fences around our plot of land and I'm gonna build those right away. I'm not gonna do anything else. We're not doing anything else until I know for sure that I can, I can grow weeds without having to worry about uh, this being a problem still. Tell you what, I'll even grow an onion and we're gonna go ahead and uh, grow this lad so that he can, he can you know we're, we're getting two things started at the same time okay all right i'm gonna let the weeds grow in a bit in fact i'm even gonna fast forward so that the weeds grow and then luckily the weeds do not grow uh over the house so if i if i have those three fences i know for sure that we're safe there's no way now right Guards the garden. This to me implies that it guards it from like hostiles. That's what that suggests to me. But the way I'm using it is for sure to 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 protect the plot from the weeds. If that actually works, then it is far far better. I also think a double tile grew in this one. 
Okay, the next thing we're gonna grow is a carrot. Uh, I think I'm actually not in a good position right now. So what I'm gonna end up having to do is kite that snail. So we're gonna have to fight the snail. I, what? I told him to go. I told him to go. I, I'm done. I'm done with this one. Yo, that was Gardener. That is the most frustrating game I think I've ever played. Um, I I love you, Sock Pop, and uh, I will I will absolutely play anything and everything you make. And please don't hate me for uh, ripping on this one. I want to maintain a good and positive relationship, and I don't want to be snarky about your games. But this one is a solid miss for me, and I I cannot hide that. I, I can't I can't not get frustrated at this one. I don't know what it is. It's a combination of about three or four or five competing mechanics that make the perfect storm of just really just a frustrating experience for me. And um, you know, don't don't feel bad. Uh, all is good, but man, uh, that's I, I just uh, I, I cannot I can't sugarcoat it. I can't sugarcoat it, and I make uh, it, it, it makes it makes me mad. This one makes me mad. So that's Gardener. Um, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. This is probably the most the angriest I've been in a video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, definitely hit that like button and consider, consider subscribing and no, this is not gonna become a trend. I'm not gonna become some kind of angry uh, video game, uh, I don't know, nerd. Especially not with indies. I, I, I love the indies. Not gonna, not gonna rip on indie games. Um, <laughs> what do you do? I don't know. I'll see you guys later.